you are welcome to my channel. In this uh, episode, we want to provide an answer to these two questions under linear inequality. We did the introduction in the previous um, uh, episode. So here we want to provide an answer to linear equations that have variable at both sides of the inequality sign and the one that have only one variable at one side of the inequality sign. If you are new, consider subscribing to the channel, like and follow. So here we have x minus 4 less than 16 minus 4x. So what we know is that this inequality sign always serve as a barrier. So we perform the rules of linear equation, making sure that the variables are always at the left side of the inequality sign and the constant are also at the other side. So in order to move the 4x to the left, we intend add 4x to both sides. Because whatever happened to the left must be done to the right. So I'll be adding minus 4x as in this plus another 4x. And we know that this will give us what? Zero. So when I add it here, it becomes zero. And when I add it here, it will be in this side as x plus the 4x. Then in 10, I want this 4 also to move. So minus 4, I will still have to add 4. We know minus 4 plus 4 also gives me 0. So whilst I am adding 4x to both sides, the same time I'm adding what 4 to both sides. So in that case, we'll serve as a group of like terms. So my x will be here plus 4x now less than 16 then plus what 4 since i'm adding 4 to both sides and 4x to both sides this is going to be x plus 4x which could be this x is just one uh, ball this is four ball since they are the same kind that become five of the same ball less than 20. We also know that our tension is on the x, so whatever coefficient attached to the x will have to be used to divide both sides in order to clear it from here. So that becomes 5x divided by the coefficient less than 20 divided by the same coefficient. And that leaves us with x less than what? 4. So in this inequality, the value of x will be a range of numbers that are less than what? 4. So S will assume 3, 2, 1, 0, all the way to make this uh, inequality uh, certified. That is one aspect. Then the second aspect is to solve minus 2x is greater than 10. So we can see here is more or less like this place, where the only step to take is to make sure you divide by the coefficient. Now, in our introductory word lesson, we mentioned that anytime you are dividing through by a negative sign or multiply by a negative sign, the inequality sign changes or the sense of the inequality changes. So this simply means that the coefficient minus 2 will be used to divide. So that become minus 2x divided by minus 2. The sense of the inequality change to become less than 10 divided by minus 2. I'm divided by negative, so the size of the inequality will change. This will leave us x is less than what? Minus 5. Instead of saying x is what? Greater than minus 5, the value becomes x is less than minus 5. So all values that are less than minus 5, x can assume to make this inequality true. I believe you guys. The two aspects clear. If you follow, try to share with your learning mates, like and comment. In the next episode, we'll take the ones that involve brackets and fractions. Bye bye.